video, we are going to look at the tool Answer Garden. Answer Garden is a way to create an online poll that creates visual results. So uh, you can pose a question, such as I have here, name some famous Chicago sites, and the various people, various students, can submit answers that then appear in a word cloud. So if I was going to um, name some famous Chicago sites, maybe I would add Buckingham Pavilion, share, and it fills in here. So as more responses come in to the poll, it creates a visual display. Let's look at how to create an answer garden. Answer Garden can be located at answergarden.ch. And as you enter Answer Garden, you'll see this interface. You can look at a demo if you want to see what other Answer Gardens look like, or you can just jump in and create an Answer Garden. I like this tool because you don't need to create any kind of account or log in. And as you take a look at it, you notice that there's really only one thing you have to provide, and that's a topic for your new answer garden. You could see if there were previous answer gardens. And let's look at some of the options before we get started. Um, it's not necessary to put these options on, but they are there in case you need them. By default, it goes to the classroom mode of answer garden, which is when respondents can submit an unlimited number of answers, but may only submit each answer one time. So you can mouse over these to see the definition of each. There's also brainstorm mode. Respondents can submit an unlimited number of answers, including an unlimited copy of the same answer. And they recommend that you only use that with a friendly audience. As you do that, those answers that are given more frequently will appear larger. Other modes are for password set. You can have a moderator mode where you approve everything before it appears, or a locked mode where no one can add to it anymore. You can also put up an administrative code uh, so that there could be a password. That probably would not be used very frequently, but it's there. If you want to add your email address, you can email and get an email answer that includes the link in the code. And they do have a basic spam filter. But let's just get started with something basic that, with the default answers. Let's do, um, what is your favorite food? And so I type in the question, I come to the bottom, hit create. My answer garden is being created. Each answer garden has a unique link that you can provide. And so this is the default, what is your favorite food? In a moment, I'll show you how you can um, share this with others, but let's do a couple of responses here. Okay, I've filled out this answer garden a little bit more and provided some answers in it so we can see how it works. If I wanted to add another answer at the top, it, you can just continue to add them as you want to. Notice that each answer has to be 20 characters long, so you can't put a very, very long answer. But it can continue to add and add. Okay, let's look what, at what you as the administrator can do with this answer garden. And there are quite a few things you can do. Your options are all down here. So let's look at the share option first. With the share option, you can share in social media. Or you can embed the URL. And we'll show, I'll show you how to do that more in a moment. Here is the URL that you can provide if you just want to create a link that others can um, use to find your answer garden. 
There's an embed code in a normal size. There's also a microgarden. A microgarden will create a little piece of code, which it looks like this, where no answers are displayed. So you can gather answers, but you don't have to publicly show your answer garden. And it also provides other embed code sizes. So that's what you can do with Share. I'm going to click on the Export option now. And you can export your Wordle, your um, cloud there to Wordle, to Tagzito. You can translate the answers with Microsoft Translator or tweet the results in Twitter. You can also look at the views and how many views have occurred on your answer garden. If you want to look up any of the answers in Google, you can click on them here. You can, you can view and flash if you like. Let's go to About. About will tell you some statistics, how many times it was answered, when it was created, etc. And there's the answers that appear. You can create a QR code which you can beam and share if others need to um, access it in their mobile devices. And here's the administrative link. And you can change what you want as far as you can hide an answer if there's an inappropriate answer that comes aboard. You can edit the topic. You can switch the answer. Um, I think, you know, the classroom mode only allows one response for a particular word, but I almost think the brainstorm mode would be very useful. That way kids won't hit an issue if another kid has used their same, the same word. You know, that, that be, doesn't become an issue. Um, and it may be at a time you want to go ahead and lock it, you know, and not have it available. So... Those are the options for creating your answer garden and for what you can do with it. Now let's take a moment to look at how you can embed this answer garden into a wiki. Here's an answer garden I created called Name Some Famous Chicago Sites. So let's say that I want to put that up there in my wiki. I can go to Share at the bottom, and I can get the embed code. Notice there's an, a regular embed code, or you can get a small size or a larger size. I'm going to click in here and copy the larger size. Now I'm going to come over to a wiki page. You could also put this in other types of websites. Got a page. I'm going to, I'm in edit mode. I'm going to select widget. I'm going to go to other HTML. Paste in my code. Save it. And save it again. Now here is the embedded answer garden in my uh, in this web page and we can continue to put answers in it at my own site. As I submit it, you can see that uh, the new answer will appear there. So this is a really helpful tool for a librarian. Let's say that you have created a web page devoted to a class that's doing research. Maybe on this web page you have some links to online databases, some links to websites you've created, you have some links to the directions for the assignment, you have some links to print materials in your library that will support this. But maybe there's a section where you want quick answers, brainstorming answers, brainstorming research um, th that could be done related to the topic, um, just brainstorming um, things to get, this, to get a st the research started. 
as your kids come in and are learning about what's going to be expected of them in that unit, um, you can have this built right into the same web page so that they can respond. And it's a great way to get the class started or to get groups of students working um, to start thinking. So this is how Answer Garden works. It's very simple to use. Um, so please enjoy and get started.